So talk about the whole pro experience and what you've made of it so far, just being between the first team and now with TFC2 as well. Uh, it's been fantastic, you know, training with, uh, you know, Bradley Giovinco, that's been awesome. Um, first team staff and everyone has been very welcoming. Um, it's been an awesome experience, you know, just enjoying uh, every second. Awesome to get my first pro game under my belt with uh, TFC2. Um, you know, it was a part of history, so I was glad I could be in that game and uh, get, you know, 90 minutes um, and then hopefully travel to, to RSL and hopefully be able to compete for minutes there. What do you make in the differences of coaching style or maybe similarities between Jason Bent and Greg Vanny? Oh, I think there's a lot of similarities. You know, they both uh, have the same philosophy. We're both playing the same uh, the same formation um, with both teams. Um, you know, they're both fun guys. They like to uh, get involved in training. And I mean, honestly, they're just very personable. You know, they like to interact with you, you know, tell you things that you're doing right, tell you things that you're doing wrong. And, um, you know, they don't, they don't put too much pressure on you, which is big for, you know, a rookie coming into the league. Um, you know, there's things that, you know, are very different. You know, there's things that are uh, the same. So it's, uh, you know, it's just good. Um, it's just good to get some minutes in and, uh, when you take a look at this roster, there are some holes to fill with some players missing, some injuries. Do you see that as an opportunity for yourself? Uh, yeah, I do, definitely. Um, you know, it's a big game against RSL. Um, I'll just take my minutes wherever I can get them. You know, if it's out on the wink, you know, if it's coming in the midfield, um, you know, I'll just play wherever Greg needs me to play. So, um, you know, good luck to Michael and Josie. Um, I know that, that they're going to kill it with the uh, U.S. So, um, you know, if I get minutes, that's awesome. Did anything surprise you this weekend with the USL experience in terms of just travel or the, the style of play compared to what you've you've noticed so far? Um, yeah, style plays a little bit different. Um, obviously, being with the first team, it's um, it was very quick. Um, you know, as all pro games are, it's a little bit quicker on the first team for sure. But you know, we have some great players on the USL team, and it was, uh, you know, I think our cohesion. Um, you know, for our first pro game together was very good. You know, we had some defensive lapses, but that comes. You know, it's our first game, so. Uh, and, all there, all theirs, including mine. Um, it's our first pro game, um, so you know I think to go up two goals was fantastic. And you know we had them on the run, and then um, in the second half, you know we kind of let things slip. But as I said, it was our first game, um, so I think there's a lot of uh, positives to build on. It's only a small so sample size, but do you feel that the MLS USL teams might have a target on their back against some of the other teams? Yeah, I definitely do. Um, yeah, I was talking to one of the guys uh, actually on Charleston, and he said that um, you know it was uh, it was awesome to play against us, you know, but like we are uh, we're a young side, so you know they were coming after us a little bit, um, and definitely you know with you know bringing all these new guys in, you know TFC definitely does have a, a target on its back, but you know we welcome that. And, you know, it just gives us um, just gives us a lot more to play for, and it makes the game a little more difficult. Which you know, all, we have a lot of young guys who are eager uh, to get minutes, so it, it kind of just drives us a little more. So, in terms of that experience on their part, were they was it more physical? Were they kind of mind games? What were you noticing? Um, yeah, it was a little more physical. You know, uh, I guess if you watch the game, we got we kind of got into a little bit of a brawl at one point. So it was uh, it was definitely a, a tempered match. But you know, um, we have a lot of good players on the team, so. I, you know, as soon as we started uh, knocking the ball around, you know, we kind of let our football do the talking instead of, you know, getting into the uh, physical battles. So, um, yeah, yeah, no, it was a tough game, but it was, uh, it was definitely a good experience.